in the motorcycling world, the letters GS stand out. Rather than hinting at speed, these two letters indicate that the motorcycle in question has genuine go anywhere capability. And the BMW R1300 GS, it follows in the rich heritage of BMW's adventure motorcycles, replacing the R1250 GS, the highest selling and one of the best adventure motorcycles in the world. The whole scenery fits, the mighty Himalayas playing the perfect partner to the BMW R1300GS. Yes, the flagship adventure motorcycle from BMW has landed in India and we are here in Ladakh to test the motorcycle, get some saddle time, soak in the scenery, the sights and see how the motorcycle performs because this is the best possible terrain to take a test ride of the R1300GS. I am so, so excited. And in case you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Car and Bike YouTube channel. And if you liked this video, please do share it with your family and friends. Right, so the BMW R1300GS looks radically different from the R1250GS. The front end is very, very different. There's a clear departure from the asymmetric headlight on the 1250 to a nice all-in-one matrix LED headlight with four DRLs in the shape of a cross. Then the motorcycle feels much more compact, slimmer because of the sleeker fuel tank and the rear section is made of die cast aluminium. So it gives a nice pointed clean end to this motorcycle. And lastly, the quality and the fit and finish is as expected from BMW top notch. So overall, the motorcycle looks really imposing. And if you see this bike in the rearview mirror or from the front, you will notice it's a BMW R1300GS. Now, to be honest with you, when I first had a look at the motorcycle in photographs, of course, I wasn't quite sold on the looks and the design of the bike. But now that I'm seeing this bike in flesh, yes, it does cut an imposing figure. It is evident that BMW has extensively worked on the chassis and the engine. There's a compact pressed steel chassis in play that uses the boxer twin as a stressed member. Then there's a die cast aluminum subframe. Not only is the chassis stiffer, but it is quite lighter too. Next comes the 1300cc boxer twin unit, which has been reworked completely and the displacement increases by 50 odd cc. The internals have been reworked fully with an increased stroke and a reduced bore. The engine now makes 143.4 bhp at 7750 rpm, along with putting out peak torque of 149 newton meters at 6500 rpm which is 9 bhp and 6 Nm more than what the R1250GS made. At the same time, the engine itself is up to 3.9 kg lighter and the powertrain is about 6.5 kg lighter. Overall, the bike is 12 kg lighter than before. So the moment you begin riding the motorcycle, it feels, you know, tighter, slim and more compact between your legs uh, when you compare it to the R1250GS. And there's this increased sense of, you know, lightness and agility as well. And the good part is that there is a significant step up in terms of engine performance from the R1250GS because the engine, even though it's a boxer, it's been completely redone. So the bore increases, the stroke is shortened and it makes uh, more power and torque. Apart from that, there's increased refinement and you get a healthy shot of power and torque right down in the bottom end and the mid-range, which means there are less gear changes to deal with and uh, the motorcycle can do 100 km per hour from standstill in less than 3.5 seconds. That's near superbike territory. The engine is a torque monster and delivers a delightful wave of torque all throughout. Munching miles is the easiest thing to do on the R1300GS. You can cover over 500 to 600 kilometers in a day and still come out fresh on the other side. Making it easier are the comfy ergonomics with an upright seat in position, wide handlebar, neutral footpegs and acres of space for the rider to move around. On the R1300GS, BMW engineers move the gearbox to the bottom of the engine rather than the rear of the engine which helps the bike in losing weight and makes for better mass centralization. The gearbox itself is notchy and not the smoothest in the segment. I did find a few false neutrals and on twisties that can be a problem. 
The one aspect where the BMW R1300 GS stands out is the features department. It is incredibly loaded with car-like features such as adaptive cruise control, front collision warning to begin with. Then, you get an electrically adjustable windscreen, dynamic suspension adjustment, keyless ignition, and much more. Then, you have up to 7 riding modes, Road, Rain, Eco, Dynamic, Dynamic Pro, Enduro, and lastly, the Enduro Pro. In each mode, parameters like traction control, ABS, engine braking, hill start, and the suspension can be adjusted. The optional semi-active suspension on the R1300GS is one of the highlights. Up front, BMW offers its Evo Telelever tech which makes use of a regular fork tube where the Telelever unit is tightly clamped to the flex plate. The USB is dual springs which now offer variable spring rates. That means you can change the damping setting to make the front end stiffer, offering better feel and less dive under hard braking. At 237kg, the motorcycle is not lightweight by any means, but at the same time, it feels supremely planted and stable at triple digit speeds. And if you ride the bike on switchbacks, you realize that it is more than up for being hustled around corners. It gives you enough confidence as a rider to tackle corners. And it may not be razor sharp, you do need to muscle it in case of a you know switchback, but it does feel nimble and agile in the R1250GS. And well, the ride quality, it feels simply superb. It is like really plush and uh, all big and small undulations are taken care of easily even in the factory settings. And if you want even better performance in terms of suspension, then you just adjust it according to your weight and liking and it becomes even better. With 200mm of travel, the rear parallel suspension does well to complement the front end. Our test bike did not have the adaptive ride height control feature, so unfortunately we couldn't test that. So the BMW R1300GS is quite a big motorcycle and it is very capable off the road as well. With its variety of gizmos and electronic ride aid, it makes you feel like a hero. And yes, the front suspension, although very complex, it keeps the handlebar relatively free of shocks and the nice swing arm, the longer swing arm at the rear, it keeps you stable and planted while going over off-road terrain. And uh, even if somebody with half decent off-roading skills will feel like an off-road champion on this motorcycle, BMW Motorrad is yet to announce the prices of the R1300GS. The company will offer 5 variants with different levels of features. The optional 719 variant with the Tramontana green color will be the top spec variant and weirdly enough, it will still miss out on adaptive ride height with only the triple black 2 variant getting that feature. So the full-size adventure motorcycle segment in India is quite exciting at the moment. You have options like the Ducati Multistrada V4, the Honda Africa Twin, the Triumph Tiger 1200 and now the fully updated and brand new BMW R1300GS. So the R1250GS was a fantastic motorcycle and it was a tough ask to improve that bike in every sense. Well, BMW has managed to do exactly that and how. The R1300GS feels great. It is better in every sense than the R1250GS. It gets a nice, smooth, torque laden engine, a variety of features and the performance of the motorcycle is quite nice as well. So BMW I think has done a great job with the R1300GS. What are your thoughts on the new BMW motorcycle, the flagship adventure motorcycle? Do let us know in the comments below and like I said if you like this video please do share it with your family and friends. Till then take care and ride safe.